In the vehicle that we see here today, it's not a PowerPoint chart. It's a real spacecraft. We're ready to fly. That is the most important thing for all of you to get. This flight test was the first step in realizing our ultimate goal, which is to go to Mars. Five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration. This is, you know, one of the best navigation systems that's ever been designed or implemented. It's unbelievably uh, robust and intelligent. It can do all sorts of smart fault detection. It's a very smart system. We all eagerly anticipated the climb of Orion from low Earth orbit to its apogee over 3,600 miles from Earth. And there it was. We had a view out the window and we could see the curvature of the Earth, just like back in the Apollo days. Amazing sight. This flight test went through the Van Allen belts not just once, but twice. And this flight test proved that the avionics inside Orion were able to handle that high radiation environment. The heat shield on Orion is the largest heat shield ever made. Orion came home, hit the Earth's atmosphere at a blazing 20,000 miles an hour. really helped, I think, put the exclamation point on the mission to see that capsule coming in as fast as we expected it would, and then to see the parachutes deploy. There's really not been a film of that kind of deployment for how dynamic that phase is, so I think it's huge. We have splashdown, a bullseye splashdown for America's newest spacecraft. For an engineer, it may be as cool as an artist appreciating fine art in a museum. USS Anchorage successfully recovered the NASA Orion space capsule from the Pacific Ocean. All that coming together is, is pretty special. I'm sure you were all as proud as I was to see Orion's first successful flight test. There is your new spacecraft, America.